Hello everyone. Bonjour et bienvenue. That is good day and welcome to Learning Arcade where learning is fun. In this video, we are going to talk about gender. Le genre. Now, in French, all nouns are classified as male or masculine gender or feminine gender. There are no hard and fast rules as to why a particular noun is of a masculine gender or why it is of a feminine gender. So, we have devised some methods to help you identify the gender of the nouns. The first one is uh, the genders of nouns referring to males are, are masculine gender and genders of uh, the uh, genders re referring to females is feminine gender. For example, you have le père that is father, la mère which is mother, un garçon, boy, une fille, girl. Similarly, here we have some nouns which can either be masculine or feminine. For example, we have artiste which is artist, collègue which is colleague, enfant, child. Now, depending on whether we are talking about a male artist or a feminine, female artist, this will take up the uh, corresponding vowels. For example, un artiste, un artiste, un colleague, un collègue, un enfant, un enfant. Similarly, addition of E changes the nouns to feminine. For example, you want to talk about friend, un ami which refers to a male friend and Yun ami refers to a female friend. A cousin. Yun cousin. A male cousin or a female cousin. Okay, so far so good. The male uh, nouns are masculine and female nouns are feminine. But what about those nouns which refer to things or a concept? How do we identify the gender? Now we have some masculine endings. For example, you have A-C-L-E that is nouns ending with these words are masculine gender mostly. A miracle that is a miracle. A chant, a song. Le fromage, the cheese. Le cheval, that is the horse, le dapo, the flag. These are also a BA, a ticket, a kahie, a notebook, le tourisme, the tourism, le bâtiment, the building, a totua, that is a payment. Similarly, we have feminine endings. These are the feminine endings and nouns ending with these words are mostly feminine. Okay. La promenade, sidewalk. Yun jeune, day. La naissance, birth. La prudence, prudence. La Pluie, rain. La bicyclette, bicycle. La musique, music. La saison, season. Une voiture, car. Une question, question. Some masculine nouns referring to professions have a corresponding feminine end endings. For example, le paysan, la paysan, which means peasant. Over here you can see how the ending changes. You have a corresponding feminine ending. Le boulanger, la boulanger, which means baker. Le 
contactwell la contactwell meter reader la danse la danseuse danse la musician la musician which is musician la patron la patron which is boss on actor un actress which means actor over here you can note you notice e u r has a corresponding e u s c on the other hand t e u r has a corresponding t r i c e next we will see categories in this a group of nouns are categorized into masculine gender or feminine gender for example you have names of trees all the names of trees are of masculine gender so you have la pommier that is the apple tree names of metals that is la that is gold la fer that is iron next you have names of colors in french uh, we have different colors in this uh, the noun form of colors la rouge that is red color names of languages la france french names of english origin la tennis that is tennis similarly you have the feminine category names of sciences la chimie chemistry subjects ending in graphie like for example you have la geography that is geography la photography photography names of automobiles un honda that is honda un ford that is ford names of businesses un boulangerie that is bakery un parfumerie that is a perfume shop now you also have to know some nouns have different meaning they take on a different meaning uh, depending on their gender for example you have la lire which means book and la lire which means pound in this case it is a weight pound la mode which is method and la mode which is fashion la tu that is tour la tu which is tower la post which is the job post job la post which is the post office la memoir that is a report la memoir the memory so here you have we have seen all the different methods of identification which help in the identification of gender that is a combination of these methods should help you in identifying which gender the particular noun belongs to now we have uh, the, i have devised some strategies to make the uh, memorization of this gender fun so let us see first and foremost whenever you learn or listen a new word in french you also you have to pay attention to the uh, article of the noun uh, similarly next you you can use these uh, french words in english sentences for example we have uh, i am going to une boulangerie to buy a packet of bread so you have to incorporate uh, the french word along with the article into your english sentences the second uh, strategy uh, this will help you uh, to remember in a better way uh, this requires a visualization a vivid image for example you can uh, visualize 
all the masculine genders as blue in color and all the feminine gender as pink in color. You can also imagine them to be flying up into the clouds, pink and flying to the clouds and uh, the masculine genders blue and uh, diving into the ocean. So then you have le cheval. When you learn le cheval, which means a horse, the horse. So you can imagine a blue horse which dives into the water and une bicyclette that is a bicycle. You can imagine a pink bicycle flying into the clouds. You can never forget with this sort of imagination. Try it out and let me know what you think of these strategies. Goodbye. That is au revoir et à bientôt. That is Goodbye and see you soon.